now students oh, my dear students today i will start division first let me uh, explain or define simply what do you understand by division division means sharing equally or making equal groups what do you understand by division division means sharing equally or making equal groups or dividing into equal groups next we are going to learn about the terms of division first let us get familiar with the terms of divisions dividend divisor quotient so what do you understand by dividend the number to be divided is called dividend the number by which we divide is called divisor the result of thing or the answer we get will be the quotient let me give a simple example 15 divided by 5 will get 5 is a 15 so 15 is dividend Five is divisor. Three is quotient. So I hope you have understood till here. So what? Let us make a recap. So what do you understand by the term division? Division means sharing equally or dividing into. equal groups there are the terms of division we have learned dividend divisor quotient so what do you understand by dividend the number to be divided is called the dividend here 15 is dividend divisor means number by which we divide is called divisor here 5 is divisor quotient is the result of the or the answer we get is the quotient so i will start here with exercise 6.3 exercise 6.3 and 16 divided by 2 will get the answer a a is the question so if it is asked In this exercise, it is asked to find out the dividend. Which is dividend? Here the question is given. This is the question. You have to find out the dividend, divisor, and the quotient. So here the columns are given. Or simply I am writing. I will just show you here. So this is dividend. Mm -hmm. 16 is dividend i'm writing in short form 2 is divisor 8 i'm sorry 8 is quotient so exercise 6.3 you have to find out complete the table the five and you have to find out the dividend divisor and the quotient Another example I'll show you. Fifty-six divided by fourteen, you will get four. So fifty-six is the dividend. Fourteen is the divisor. Four is the quotient. So exercise three, it is quite simple. You can easily work out. You have to, you can do it here itself in the textbook. Next exercise B, we have to make the the dividend is given, divisor is given. You have to find out the quotient.
here exercise 6.3b you see here dividend is given divisor is also given quotient is given we have to make the equation so i will just show you two example 32 is the dividend 8 is the divisor 4 is the quotient how you make the equation the equation will be 32 you write here dividend we will divide it by 8 the quotient will be 4 another example i'll show you 91 is the dividend 13 is the divisor and 7 is the quotient so 91 you divide it by 13 that is the divisor and the quotient is 7 90 is the dividend 15 is the divisor 6 is the quotient so how you write the quotient 90 divided by 15 you will get the quotient 6 so here I think it is clear for you I will next I will go to exercise 6.4 exercise 6.4 here is given to how to find the quotient by repeated subtraction how to find the Exercise A, you can do it in the textbook itself. I'll show you exercise B. How to find out the quotient by repeated subtraction. 27 divided by 9. So how will you do it? First you will write 27. You will subtract 9. 17 minus 9, 8. So here will remain 1. You have borrowed from here, no? It will remain 1. Now, again you will subtract 18 minus 9. 18 minus 9, you will get 9. Again, one more time, you will minus 9 minus 9. You will get the answer 0. You have to get ultimately 0. So how many times we have subtracted 9? 1 time, 2 times. 3 times. So the quotient will be 1, 2, 3. How many times we have subtracted? 3 times. So the quotient will be 3. 9, 3 is 27. I will show you another example. 35 divided by 7. So first again in the same process you do. 35 you subtract 7 from 35. So 15 minus 7 you will get 8. So here what will it mean? 2. Now again you subtract 28. 7 from 28. 8 minus 7, 1, 2. So what will you get? 21. Again you subtract 11 minus 7, 4. So what do we have borrowed from here? It will remain 1. 14. Again you subtract 7 times, you will get 7. 14 minus 7, 7. Again minus 7, you will get 0. How many times you have subtracted? 1 time, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times. So what will be the answer? 35 divided by 7, you will get the quotient. 5. You will write 5 times 5. So, I will show you another example. 
42. Again, 12 minus 7, you will get 5. Here, what will remain? 3, 35. Again, 7, 15 minus 7, 8. We will get 28. Again, 7, 21. Again, we will subtract 7, 14. Again, we will subtract 7, 7. 7 minus 7, 0. So, ultimately, you have to get 0. So, how many times you have subtracted? 1 times, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times, 6 times, 7 times, 8 times. So, so what will be the answer? 56 divided by 7 is equal to 8. 8 times we got no? This is the correct answer. Next exercise. That is next. I will show you multiplication and division. How to find out the multiplication facts and the division facts. Multiplication facts and the division facts. That is exercise 6.5. It is given here exercise A. We have to find out the write the division facts for the following multiplication facts. Now, how we will write the division facts? So here is given the question. This is we have to find out the multiplication facts from uh, I'm sorry you have to find out from this division fact we have to find out the multiplication fact most multiplication fact have two division facts most multiplication facts have two division facts so a the first division facts will be 84 that is the portion, I'm sorry, that is uh, uh, 84, you have to divide it by 12, you will get 7 as the portion. Again, you write this dividend, 84, you have to divide now by 7, you will get 12. So, how to find out mul uh, division facts from the multiplication? We got two division facts. From... Most multiplication facts have two division facts. So, from this multiplication facts, we got two division facts. 84 I divided by 12, I got 7 as a quotient. 84 I divided by 7, I got 12 as a quotient. So, another example I will show you. So, 120 you write here, we have to divide it by 8, you will get the quotient 15. Again 120, you divide it by 15, you will get the quotient 8. So I hope it is clear for you how to find out. One fifty three you divide by nine you'll get seventeen is the portion. One fifty three you divide by nine you'll get seventeen. So portion A. One fifty three you divide by seventeen you will get nine is the portion. So this is the multiplication fact. multiplication fact we got two division fact I'll show you again this example how to write your multiplication fact you write I 
and here this is in fact so i'll just show you this is 5 4 ja 20 this is multiplication fact we got two division fact 20 divided by 4 you will get 5 20 divided by 5 you will get 4 from one multiplication fact we got two division fact now write exercise b is given write the multiplication fact for the following division fact 48 divided by 8 is equal to 6 that is the portion is 6. Now we have to make its multiplication fact. 8 you will multiply by 8 into 6. You will get 8 6 of 48. For the division fact you will get only one multiplication fact. Another example I will show you. 16 multiply by 7. 16 into 7, you will get 112. So, from this division fact, we got this multiplication fact. So, I hope it is clear for you till here. Now, I will, you will learn about the division facts. So, what are the division facts? Division When a number, any number you write, when a number is divided by 1, the answer is always or the quotient is always the number itself. So what you have learned? When a number is divided by 1, any number, the quotient is the number itself. This is the first division fact. Next, when a number is divided by itself. The quotient is always 1. When a number is divided by itself, the quotient is always 1. When 0 is divided by a number, the quotient is always 0. So when 0 is divided by a number, the quotient is always 0. You can't or division by 0 is meaningless. Division by 0 is meaningless. Division by 0 is meaningless. So what we have learned about the division facts. First division fact is 20. When a number is divided by one, the answer or the quotient is always the number itself. When a number is divided by itself, the quotient is always 1. When 0 is divided by a number, the answer or the quotient is always 0. When you divide a number by 0, that is meaningless. So, I think my dear students, it is clear for you all this exercise. Go through the textbook and try to work out yourself the exercise.